All right, let's get this Hell in a Cell match underway. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. What's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow! Long distance drop! Up in the fireman's carry. Hellacious power slam! Gentlemen, I think we can all agree that we've seen some pretty special moments over the years. But for me, few were more special than getting the opportunity to call the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match back in October of 2016. Oh! The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. Oh. There's so much on the line for her here tonight. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Recalling that first ever women's Hell in a Cell match, I gotta say, the ovation Sasha Banks received that night was among the loudest I've ever heard, but I didn't remember you actually calling the match. Now, that's what happens when you compete in your hometown, Cole, but ovations can only get you so far. And in the end, it was Charlotte walking away with the win, not Sasha. Nailed it. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, chin breaking uppercut. Oh, what impact. Boom, what impact. Bringing it back between the ropes. champion the cell is unforgiving uncaring and unmerciful and she appears to be learning that right now the hard way you know it just might not be right guys you hate to see it but hey that happens every now and then harsh impact of course guys we all remember when the hell in a cell debuted in 1997 and how harrowing the structure looked but it's worth noting that the cell has become even more ruinous in recent years a striking blow. <laughs> what a form. You know, Corey's point about the cell evolving in recent years is absolutely right. In fact, Byron, the structure is now well over five tons. And I believe that's more than twice as heavy as the original cell, Michael. And believe it or not, it's increased in height by nearly five feet. Powerbomb planted. The challenger's championship dreams are fading quickly. This match is certainly starting to test her metal. Man, if you have a weak stomach, you might want to hide your eyes. This is getting tough to watch. Guys, I think it needs to be said that yes, while we all are enjoying watching this match, you cannot deny the real dangers these superstars are presented with here tonight. Look at her go! Reverses that one. I have to agree with what Byron was saying about the dangers of Hell in a Cell. The truth is that superstars change forever after competing in this demonic structure. For once, I agree with both of you. The fact of the matter is that tonight will likely be the most demanding night of these superstars' careers. As we tear the features clean off your face. I don't know about you guys, but for me, there is no greater thrill than being at the announce desk for a Hell in a Cell match.
given what we've seen so far, I wouldn't at all be surprised if we see a title change here tonight. These competitors are walking on dangerous ground right now. You know, I'm a little surprised, Corey, to hear you talk about the thrill of announcing a Hell in a Cell match, considering you were there when Shane McMahon shattered the announce desk at Hell in a Cell 2017. I was there too, Michael, and I'll tell you, I will never look at Hell in a Cell matches the same after that. You were? Oh! Nice job getting out of the way of that one. If you're just tuning in, you're watching what is guaranteed to be a hell in a cell match for the ages. Guys, I don't think you can have a conversation about great hell in a cell moments without bringing up the name Shane McMahon. He really has become synonymous with cell insanity. You gotta believe this one's over. You know, this is just one of those matches you want to sit back, relax, and just take it in. Boom. <laughs> it's hard not to recognize what Shane McMahon has done when it comes to Hell in a Cell. As Corey was saying, but at what point is enough enough? Come on, Michael, there's no such thing as enough when it comes to Shane McMahon. Even you know that. You know, no matter how many times I see a Hell in a Cell match, I'm always amazed at what these competitors are willing to put themselves through. This is the title match we've all been waiting for, guys, and so far it's delivered the goods. She is on fire! Going for the big one! She might have it. She better do something fast. Hard to dispute Byron's point about what these superstars put themselves through in an environment like this. For whatever reason, when the Hell in a Cell structure is in place, superstars willingly push the boundaries of physical punishment. And then there's people like Shane McMahon who just take that to a whole other level. She dodges that one. These superstars look determined to destroy each other here tonight, which is what you would expect, I guess, when the gold is on the line. Oh, what a slam that hurt! She's looking at it. Beautiful technique. That's it. That's what she needed. One more time. Why not? Guys, I think it needs to be said that yes, while we all are enjoying watching this match, you cannot deny the real dangers these superstars are presented with here tonight. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, and it's a reversal. The end may be near. I have to bring what Byron was saying about the dick. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. This is too much. Power bomb! Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now.
Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. What a clothesline! Ouch! I don't know how much more these superstars can take, guys. You'd have to think something's got to give here soon. That's a woman on a mission. I just love it when the women put on a show like that one. You can see right here the moments that made this match a great one. I'm not easily impressed, but that was one of the most entertaining matches I've had the pleasure to see in a while. Here's your winner and the new 
SmackDown Women's Champion, The Queen. What a back and forth battle that was. And to be honest, Michael, neither of these amazing women have anything to be ashamed of. Don't adjust your TV, folks. This Vegas crowd really is this loud.